Today I'm trying a new kind of sewing challenge. Can I sew fleece pajamas in one hour? And to mix things up a little bit, the pattern I'm using is not specifically designed for fleece, and it also happens to be a multi-sized unisex pattern. Can I get this done in an hour? I think so. Is it gonna fit? That's the big question. Let's find out together. Hey, Sew Sewers. I'm Tony, and this is Sew Sew Lounge. I'm going to be working with McCall's 6251, which is a knit pajama pattern. They have it in separates. There is a onesie. I'm going to be sewing version D, which is just the pajama pants. Yes, you heard me right. This pattern is specifically designed for knits. And if you didn't know, fleece is in the knit family. It does stretch widthwise even though it doesn't stretch very much lengthwise. And that's really all we need for pajamas. So I cut a little four inch strip and I, you know, put it on the back on this little knit gauge and then stretched it to make sure I had enough stretch and I do. Now that I know my fabric will work, I needed to pick a size because this is a unisex pattern. So it's for men, women, and teens, which is quite a wide size range. So the pattern actually comes in extra small all the way up to extra large. This specific envelope is extra small to medium because I figured I would probably be in the small medium range depending on the amount of ease in the garment. Now, unfortunately, this pattern does not print the ease at the waist or the hips on any of the pattern pieces. So I had to go in with my ruler and measure all of that out and then add it up for each piece, take off the seam allowances, and then figure out which size would be the best for me. Now, because this is knit, um, it's a knit pattern and fleece is gonna stretch to the amount that I need, I'm going to go with the small. One thing I did to kind of double check is grab a pair of fleece pajamas out of my closet. I put you know one leg into the other, so I had like the front pattern piece and laid it on top of the pattern before I cut the size, and it most closely lined up with the small. So when in doubt, if you have a pair of pajamas you like, um, try those out. See how that compares to the actual pattern. All right, so I don't know about you, but I am ready to start sewing to see if I can do this in an hour. I have my trusty timer here with me. My pajamas are cut out. I have the waist tie cut out. And then the bonus about these pajamas that really ensures I should be able to get this done in an hour is the elastic waistband. And then there's a little bow that ties on the front to make it look cute. So I'm gonna get this all pinned together and head over to the sewing machine. I'll see you there. Before we get started, I'm gonna set my timer to 15 minutes. I feel like I should be able to get these pants put together in 15 minutes, um, at least get them sewn up, get the legs all sewn together. My machine is set to a regular straight stitch. I have extended the length from my usual two and a half to three, just to account for the thickness of the fleece. I am also using a Microtex fleece needle. I can't remember if it's Microtex. I wrote fleece on it. I know it's for fleece, so. I bought that specific needle from Schmetz, so you can get one too. I'm using a 7511 because this is a lighter weight fleece. Now looking at the instructions, I need to start by sewing the back and the front together at the inner leg seam. Um, one other thing, since I am not 100% about the sizing on this, I'm going to sew at a half inch instead of a five eighths inch because um, I, I just in case, just in case we're being on the safe side. So that is what the plan is. Let me make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be and that this is indeed a half inch. Yes, I'm good. So we are at 13 minutes. I have been talking for two minutes and I am going to get started sewing.
right, so the outside seam is sewn. Actually, the inside seam is sewn. And I'm just going to snip these threads real quick. And then let's look at the next direction. We are going to stitch the crotch seam together and then move on to the outside of the pant leg. So let's line that all up. All right, so that is all pinned. And it says just sti we're still going to be stitching this at the half inch. So it's all pinned up with the outside seam on the outside so that this will be on the wrong side too once we get everything all lined up properly. Okay, so I have this crotch seam all sewn together. Next, the instructions say to go back in and stitch at a quarter of an inch from that first stitch line. So I'm just going to line up my presser foot with the edge of the stitch line I just made and stitch again. All right, next in the instructions, it says to trim this. So I'm gonna grab my scissors, trim that out real quick. All right, so I didn't read that exactly correctly and I was only supposed to stitch in the curve of the crotch seam and not the entire pants, which I have now trimmed and it has this weird like standing up kind of seam going on, which is not comfortable. So I'm gonna go rip this out. I am at four minutes and 38 seconds, so I will not get my pants put together in 15 minutes, but not to worry. I still have 45 minutes left, so I think I am still on track to get this done in an hour. Wish me luck. Okay, so that's all ripped out. I am into the second 15 minutes, so I have 10 minutes left before we hit that 30 minute mark. I am going to flip these and then sew up the outside pant legs so I can get that done at least in the amount of time that I've got. And um, then I'm going to try them on and see how they fit so far and then go on to the waistband and then the hemming. So I just got these pinned together and they're looking kind of smallish. I mean, they might fit like I can't I can't tell. They might fit. I think I'm going to try these on over my, I mean, I'm going to take, I'm going to put these on and take out my jeans, take off my jeans before I sew up these side seams in case they are running a little bit small and I need to change that to about a quarter of an inch. So, all right. So I got them on and I think they're going to work. Um, they're not, they're kind of stabby. So I'm not pulling them up quite as high as they're supposed to be. I think that once they're on and sewn together, the half inch will work for the side seams, but I am glad I did not do the full five eighths because I do need that little extra bit of ease. It is a little bit tighter through the hips, but I think they're going to be cute and comfortable and fit the way that they should fit and not be too big. I think the medium definitely would have been way too big. So that is something I'm going to work with. And then the other thing I'm changing from this pattern is the, you're just supposed to fold down. I think it's about an inch from the top to make that casing. I like a lower waistband on pretty much everything. So I'm going to fold this down. That is two and three quarters so that I will have a bigger casing and then that will hit me kind of like right around my midsection where I like it to hit. And I'm also using elastic that's a little bit wider than was recommended for the pattern. This is an inch and a quarter. It is no roll flat elastic, which is ideal for pajamas because obviously I do not want this to move. Most of these pins just fell out while I was trying this on. So I need to get some of these relined up and then, um, oh yeah, and I folded that down. Right. Yeah. Okay. So just get this re-situated re and I'm really excited that they are going to fit or they at least seem like they will fit at this point in time. So back to the sewing.
All right, pants are put together. Yay. I have one minute to spare. And next I am going to work on this waist casing. I am going to just go quickly press open all these side seams to make sure everything's flat before we start any of that folding process. First, I forgot, start the timer because that's number one. Number two is going to be to baste the uh, seams in place because that'll make the elastic a lot easier to get in. And I've, I've had problems with this in the past, so I am going to do a quick baste to just make sure that I do not have to stress about that. Okay, so those are all done. I'm going to trim off these basting threads for right now. Back to what I was saying, I'm going to fold down my casing so it is two and a quarter inches. Oh, that is all pinned in. And now I need to go in and sew it. So I need to make sure, first of all, I need to take this out of here because I need to sew this casing in the round so that it is a lot easier. And I'm going to start at the center back in case it looks weird and then it's not right in the front of my pants. I'm gonna stitch the top at a quarter of an inch to hold this all in place. So this is not going in the order of the pattern, but I think I can put this in, then slip the casing in. I mean, then slip the elastic into the casing and then finish the bottom of the casing. I think I can do this that way. So that's what we're gonna try. So I've got that in, that's the very, very top. And then I'm going to, from that line, figure out how far I need to sew so I have something to follow. All right, painter's tape to the rescue. Let me try this again. Now that I have that line, I know I'm gonna put my piece here. So now I'm going to go back to my center back seam, take this pin out and Get everything lined up and stitch again. And this will be forming the casing. And of course, this is when I run out of bobbin thread, but I am just using random pinks for the bobbin. And I've lost my bobbin. Ah, one minute to go. And then I only have 15 minutes left. So here's that. Okay, here we go. All right. You no, know, it's like when you're not in a rush, everything sews perfectly. And as soon as you're like timing yourself, then all of a sudden it doesn't work. So we're back at it and trying this for the second time. We have 14 minutes left and I still have to finish this and put in the hem of the pants. Okay, I am back to, almost back to the center back seam. I'm leaving a little hole in there so I can fit my elastic in. And the next part is to measure. I'm just going to do this right about here. I think I cut this right. It said to cut a yard and a half of your um, elastic, but I'd hate to wait list elastic. So I cut it closer to what I thought I would need. Um, yeah, so I'll just overlap it a little bit more. Let me start feeding this in here and then I will try it on and we will see where we are. And hopefully this will not take crazy long because I've only got 12 minutes left. I got the casing all sewn together. The elastic is in there. Um, having this is the first time I've used this type of elastic and it was really kind of a pain to try and feed in there um, with the fleece and the fuzziness and everything else. I think if I did this again, I would stitch the top like I did, put the elastic in and then fold the bottom of the casing over and stitch it because I think that would be a lot easier than all this trying to feed it in there. But I got it done. So the front is flat. It's kind of gathered around the back and a little bit on the sides. That is probably because I folded it down more so there's less gathering, but that is fine with me. So moving on, we have about seven minutes left. I still need to hem these pajamas. So I'm just gonna flip these inside out real quick and get them pinned. I believe it was an inch and a quarter on the hem. 
and I did cut this at the extra small because that was going to be a finished length of 38 which I think is still going to be a little bit long on me but they're pajamas so that's okay um, you know if they were pants I'd probably want them shorter than that so let me just get my so for the sewing part I am stitching with my presser foot lined up to the outside edge or the raw edge of the cuff and then I'm just sewing my usual stitch. Alright so pants are hemmed. I have a couple of minutes left so I'm going to toss that over there, grab the tie and then try and figure out how to do this really quickly. I'm, doing, I'm just folding this in half. This is fleece. It does not need to be finished and that will get the job done. All right, so this is all sewn up and it looks fine for some pajamas. And now I'm supposed to tie this in a bow so it's even on both sides and then attach it to my pants. So I cannot tie this bow so it looks right for some strange reason. So I think what I'm gonna do is just fold this in half and then match that up to the center front seam, kind of put it in the middle of the elastic and then stitch over it. And hopefully that will hold it in place and then I can tie the bow and that will expedite this whole process of not having to try and tie it and then tack it on after the fact. Okay. So that was much faster than hand sewing. Let me just get these threads all snipped off. And then I'm going to put them back on, see how they look, and get this bow tied once I'm actually wearing them. This is how the pajamas look on and they are very comfortable. They have good ease. It's just the right amount of ease. It looks, it feels like there's is about an inch like I had initially anticipated there would be. I am glad that I went with the half inch seam allowances to just be on the safe side though. So that was kind of an added cushion for that. Honey came to say hello. Hello, honey. And I'm also glad that I decided to not follow the pattern instructions and fold down the waistband to where I like it to be kind of right at my navel because that is much more comfortable for me. Now let's try this out and see what they're like to sit in. Still really comfortable. Coming down a little bit low in the back, but that's okay because they're pajamas and I'll have a shirt on over them. But they are very comfortable and soft. And added bonus, the weather just got cold here in Texas. So I will actually be able to wear these soon. The only thing that I think is kind of dumb about this pattern is this bow, which you can see is just kind of pointless. It's lumpy. It's kind of like a helicopter and it's definitely not going to be very comfortable to sleep in. So I think I'm just going to take it off. You know, this pattern is designed for knit. So maybe if it's in knit, it doesn't, it's not so obtrusive. Um, but for right now, it, it's just, it's just going to come off. So if you're wondering, I did get the pajamas sewn in the one hour time limit, but the timer went off as I was making this tie and getting this little edge finish all sewn in. So just slightly over, but since this tie is kind of optional and I'm going to be taking it off very shortly, I'm going to say that I got this project done in one hour. So yay, it's a first for me to getting a challenge done within the time period, but I think it was worth it. If you want to try this pattern, um, make sure that you do all the measuring of the pattern to get the right size and do the calculations to figure out how much ease you need because it is totally worth it. I will put my current measurements down in the description below. If you want to make a size, this size, this is a small or if you're close, to kind of give you a gauge of what the measurements of the pattern were and what my actual size is right now. And um, I don't know off the top of my head, so that's why I'll put it in the description, but you can check that out. Coming up next is a, another fabulous video. I know you totally want to check it out. You can head over there right now, and I will see you soon. Looking for a seam ripper to try and get this taken care of. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it off. There you go.